In the very beginning, in 1998, the virus was initially found in Malaysia, in the village named Nipah, and so the name of virus came as Nipah virus. Then, in 2001 and 2004, the Bangladesh and West Bengal has affected with this infection, but this infection was controlled at their only. Now this infection has traveled to the Kerala. Please press the subscribe button and bell icon on your YouTube app. Stay tuned with Small Big Things for healthy living tips. Hello friends, welcome to my channel Small Big Things. I'm Dr. Bab, and today's topic we are going to discuss is Nipah virus. Yes, it's a really worrisome situation in Kerala. In Kerala, till date, there are ten deaths occurred. where the three people have from the same family who have consumed a water from well in which the bat was died this virus remains inactive when it is not present in the body of a human being or animal but as soon as this virus gets entry inside the body of animal or human being gets active and starts working decaying the body and thereby causing death as this infection comes from animals to a person it is called as zoonotic infection the source of infection is found to have the bat which is a fruit eating bats and so the areas where the forest are nearer to the villages or the people who are in wildlife are more prone to get this infection this nipa virus has found to cause infection from fruit bat where if the fruits are eaten by bat are consumed by the people or any fruit is contaminated with the saliva urine or feces of this fruit bat the onset of this infection are sudden the symptoms are severe headache fever difficulty in breathing increase in the respiration nausea and vomiting if you are suffering from such kind of condition or your any family member friend or colleague is suffering from this type of symptoms then they should not neglect these symptoms and has to rush to the hospital because till date there is no definitive or specific treatment on this or even the vaccine has not been discovered the ultimate treatment for the patient is to get the symptomatic relief and to be in the intensive care of the hospital for continuous monitoring of their symptoms as this nipah virus causes viral infection that may mimic your other viral infections so do not get panic if you are suffering from such infections but you should not even neglect these symptoms From the studies it is found that the people who are pig farmers or handling the pigs in their business in any form are more prone to get this infection even the people who has done the farming of dates i have suffered this infection in the past the studies have shown that this nipah virus can contaminate any person by direct contamination from the saliva urine or feces from the fruit bat or even the intermediate animals like horse pigs rabbit etc the chances of getting this infection directly from the bat is very less so you have to take care while consuming the flesh of such animals so what you can do at your level to prevent this infection avoid eating fruits are partially eaten by birds because you never know which bird has eaten that part of the fruit eat freshly prepared food preferably at home make it sure that the fruits you are eating are not damaged avoid the contact with the people who are suffering from the symptoms like high grade fever sudden headache difficult respiration and nausea and vomiting even the people can suffer from infection from person to person contact so avoid touching unnecessarily when you are in the hospital because recently one of the healthcare worker that is a nurse in kerala 
has died with this infection. Follow proper hand hygiene means do a thorough hand wash before you eat anything. Make sure that the fruits you are eating are well cleaned. Do not consume the water which is flowing openly and supposed to get such type of infections. The people who love animals please be more cautious because even the cats or dog may carry such type of infection. Dear friends, I hope you follow the instructions given in this video and even with your doctors and the WHO guidelines. Please share this video with your friends, colleagues and relatives too to make them aware about this serious infection which may kill if the person gets infection. And subscribe to my channel Small Big Things for regular updates. Bye bye.